Welcome everyone. You know, a few days ago I was watching Russell Brand and Tim Pool of Timcast. And a few days before that I watched Jordan Peterson also in a similar debate with a scholar. And really was kind of philosophy of life. They they were trying to determine what is good and bad, basically. Well, that's where the conversation went. I don't think they were really trying to determine that. But they were drifting back and forth. You know, it reminded me of somebody trying to put their hand in a jaw and catch a slippery fish because they would make some good points, but there was something missing. You know, the amazing thing is these people probably have extremely high IQs. They are much smarter than me. But on the topic they were talking about, they were totally lost. Because they're missing a very important element. Because they were trying to determine what was right and wrong. Jordan Peterson, in the interview that I saw that he did in the debate, actually came to tears because he doesn't want to believe there's a God, but he knows there's a moral argument for it. Uh, because why does he know things are wrong and it eats at him if there was no lawgiver? And that I'm going to give you a verse from the Bible in Proverbs, and this is what it says. There is a way which seemeth right unto man, but the end thereof are the ways of death. That's Proverbs 14, 12. Why am I telling you that? Because they don't know what good and evil is. They can't tell. They don't have a clue. They, you can debate it out. You, you, you know, the very fact that something bad happens to somebody and you blame God for it shows you that you know that there's something wrong with that thing that happened to the person. There is a moral understanding of something wrong. Now, I can't get as deep as these men did. I'm not as smart as them as they are. You can see it right there. But that's the great thing about the knowledge of what I do have. What I do have is the knowledge of where right and wrong comes from. You see, the only thing that works is that man himself is not good. We, you, you can say you're good, you're basically good, but you're going to go out and do something bad even this very day. Maybe you're going to yell at your girlfriend or your girlfriend's going to yell at you. You're going to insult somebody or you're going to look down on somebody. They were trying to deal with this issue. And Jordan, that was one of the things that bothered Jordan Peterson. And he knew he did something wrong and it bothered him. And he broke down into tears. Because why? There's no solution. At least in his eyes, there is not. But when there's a God, there is a solution. Because if he is a just God, he will give laws. But what he will also do, he will hold you to those laws. And what he would also do, if he was merciful, is give you a way out of the laws that have you bonded and locked up and imprisoned. In Proverbs, again, the one I read before is 14, 12. In 18 and 19, listen to this. But the path of the just is a shining light that shineth more and more unto the perfect day. I'm trying to give you a shining light. If you come to the light and look to what God has done for you, you could have the wisdom. And I have that a recipe for how you can know that wisdom in the body of this video. It is a recipe that will explain to you what your problem is and how to solve it. Here's what it concludes with on verse 19 of that, uh, 419 of Proverbs. The way of the wicked is as darkness. They know not at what they stumble. These men much more, much smarter than I am. But yet, they cannot grasp the simplicity of the love of God. 
who puts it out on a platter and says to him, here, take it. It only makes sense that everyone is wicked unless he can come out of that darkness and come to the light of God. I hope you would check the body of this order if you do not know right from wrong. If you cannot comprehend God, all of the answers are contained in the few words that are in there. So until next time, may Jesus increase as we decrease.